Hello, everyone, live from the Eurocities studio, formerly known as uh, the Eurocities office here in Brussels, and pleased to be your host for this closing session of the Eurocities Mobility Forum 2021. This year, we have met virtually. We have saved, I don't know how many kilos of CO2 emissions by not traveling, but we have been in touch. We have been exchanged together with the Eurocities uh, members of the Mobility Forum. We have talked about climate neutrality, about how to make our cities uh, greener and healthier. But to wrap up these three days of exchanges, let's talk about international cooperation. Here we are, a big family of European cities meeting today. We have been uh, kindly hosted virtually by the city of Madrid. But before starting this uh, trip, virtual trip to the Spanish capital, I'm going to first stop in France, in Toulouse, Bonjour, Jean-Claude Ardelet. Good afternoon, bonjour. Bonjour, good, good, good afternoon. Nice to see you. Thanks for, for joining us uh, for, the, for the closing uh, session. Jean-Claude Ardelet uh, is Vice Mayor of the City of uh, Toulouse and is the Chair of the Mobility Forum of Eurocities. For the past few days, uh, Jean-Claude, uh, we have discussed how to make our cities greener and healthier, but how important is international cooperation to improve the quality of life of people living in Toulouse? Yes, thank you. It's a very interesting question. Actually, you know, through the ages, uh, actually, the, the wealthiness and the well-being of the of the city of the citizen uh, has always, you know, relied on um, on its capacity to to welcome people from the outside. You know, interconnections uh, are essential. And uh, through the crisis, we have seen, uh, you know, attempt or temptation from uh, some or others to more or less close the borders or get, you know, uh, uh, get um, uh, confined. Uh, I think now, in, and in France, especially today, it's a new day for the, the deconfinement. So it's important. So a good sign uh, to show and to insist that our future, our well-being actually, you know, totally depends on our capacity to, to interconnect the people, but also the services, you know, the the, the, the four fundamental uh, uh, freedoms of, uh, of Europe, you know, good services, people and funds. And maybe we can add uh, health as a fifth, uh, as a fifth uh, fundamental uh, uh, freedom. Uh, so, yes, international cooperation is awfully important. Good. Uh, we are going to continue this discussion, uh, Jean-Claude, on international cooperation, but we are going to welcome in this group a new uh, colleague. Uh, let's continue this uh, virtual trouble now to uh, Madrid. He's waiting for us, Santiago Saura. Good morning. Buenos días, Santiago. Santiago, I think you are muted. Uh, you have to unmute yourself so we can hear you a bit better. Now we can hear yes. you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, buenos dias, good morning or good afternoon almost. Uh, I hope you are nice Nice to meet you all and for Madrid it's a pleasure to to host uh, this this uh, mobility forum even if virtually in these uh, pandemic times. But uh, of course, um, as, as regarding your question, I think that for Madrid and for many of the cities like Toulouse and others, we really want to be at the at the forefront of, of innovation of, of the solutions and, and of the also the European priorities in, in many areas and notably in the areas of mobility and also those of climate neutrality that are well highlighted in the title of this of this forum that are key for for our path in in, a, in the next years no so yeah. to be yeah sorry yes Sorry, Santiago, I didn't properly introduce you. You are, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you are the councillor for internationalization and cooperation of the city of Madrid, right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so uh, that uh, so the question you have made is, is very pertinent for, for our city and for myself, let's say. So uh, we, we really are aware of the need. No, In these challenges we have, we really need to collaborate strongly with, with all actors, with all partners within the city, but also outside the city. And I think that the... the, the the collaboration and exchanges with our partner cities in Europe through Euro cities through this mobility forum is is the only way to 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 share these challenges solutions best practices ideas and in a way to to move forward for this cleaner healthier mobility that we all want uh, to have a, a better and smarter functioning of the city better air quality 
and also the broader objective of climate neutrality and decarbonization, which is key for the for the next years, as I was saying before. Hmm. So we are, yeah, sure. Please. And no, please, please go ahead, go ahead. No, in, I was just saying that um, we we think that uh, Eurocities is uh, really the 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 forum, in this case, mobility forum and, and the network that we need to, to continue to work with. Also, of course, with the mobility forum, but also forums related to economy, to innovation, to environment. We also like to highlight these cross-cutting uh, challenges that we normally face in the cities. And also, I think uh, the title of the, of the uh, mobility forum of these three days is very also pointing towards uh, climate neutrality, which is very pertinent. And in fact, we have, as you know, the, the Horizon Europe mission for cities, which is to achieve climate neutrality in 100 cities in Europe by 2030. It could be entire cities or it could be significant portions or districts of, of cities that can uh, uh, reach that uh, ambitious target in, in just uh, less than 10 years. So I think that also is a very important um, context for our work uh, in these days. And in particular, Absolutely. also, uh, just to, to conclude, in the international um, uh, arena, let's say, Madrid is working uh, for almost two years as one of the demonstration cities of Climate Kick, which is the largest uh, European initiative on innovation for climate action. And we are, of course, working in different uh, projects and portfolio of, of actions, which in which mobility is an important one. And these all uh, designs, co-designs with, with other cities that are also working as demonstrative cities for for this climate kick initiative which solutions we can we can move forward for for this better cleaner healthier cities and this decarbonization towards 2030 and towards 2050 in in in, in this european context which is a clear priority also of the european recovery funds that we have to to, to obtain and to used to mobilize this transformation in our cities. Indeed, there are many challenges to come uh, and many opportunities as well. I would like now to continue with a question for the two of you. Uh, let's start with uh, Jean-Claude, and then I will uh, ask the same question to Santiago. We have been talk talking in the last uh, three days uh, in the Mobility Forum, your city's Mobility Forum meeting, about of course, urban mobility. One can think that uh, urban mobility is a very local uh, topic, it's a very local issue. Uh, European cities are very different from north to south, west to east. My question is, what is the added value of international cooperation when we are talking about urban mobility? Jean-Claude? Yes, thank you. Um, so, awfully important, <laughs> number one. Uh, I think the crisis actually has shown uh, the strength and the weaknesses of the European Union. It has shown the importance of the local influence, so uh, the city influence. Uh, it has shown the importance of the interconnections, as I mentioned them uh, uh, before, and more or less it showed that the, the cities are at the center, I would say, of everything. Let's, let's make it blunt. And clear that the cities are the center, not of a lot of things, but I would say of, of everything. Uh, so therefore, joining forces, you know, us together, and I, I would like to thank again Eurocities for that, uh, bringing our, our voices uh, to the highest level in, uh, in Brussels, uh, facilitates these interconnections, I would say, on, on four items. On the physical aspects, you know, how to, to go get and grab the investments, the, the capacity to invest more and make the infrastructure, the mobility infrastructure possible. Uh, influence on the strategic aspects, so more or less how to coordinate uh, better internally in our cities and uh, amongst our cities. Also, maybe how to influence on the digital aspects on how to accelerate everything and use the, all the, the modernist technologies to make it happen. And last but not least, uh, the beauty of what you are doing, uh, you guys at uh, EuroCities is uh, the interconnections on the political front and the political influence is how to make all our actions permanent and all what we do to, to, to make it sustainable. So joining forces, bringing in our, our voices at the political level, make our actions sustainable. What we are doing, John claude is actually what you are doing. We're just uh, building the bridges, right? But uh, without your work at the local level, we don't do anything here in the Brussels office. Uh, Santiago, the same question for you. What is the added value of international cooperation when we are talking about sustainable urban mobility? 
Yes, uh, indeed, you were saying that mobility, in a way, is is local because it faces local particularities or specifics. But I think, uh, of course, it's not just uh, local. For example, many of our cities share the challenges of metropolitan areas, which extend beyond our own um, municipal limits and are large determinants of, of the mobility patterns in our cities. But also, even looking broader at the European scale with other cities, I think the challenges we share are similar and. Even with our local particularities, we need to uh, recognize and to acknowledge that technological solutions, for example, or multi-actor environments, arrangements, how we get uh, involved in, in, in European projects uh, that exchanges practices, how we make the connections for that, how we uh, work together in, in uh, missions such as that of climate neutrality uh, are crucial. And also, as uh, the vice mayor was saying, uh, I think we need to... Um, stress the, 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 the value of, of um, Euro cities to um, highlight the capacity of the cities to make the transformation that the whole of Europe needs to achieve the climate targets and the green, uh, the green Deal targets. Not also the capacity that we have as cities, as big cities, to, to, to promote that transformation, but also the need that the European institutions have to involve us so that this global, this joint effort uh, is uh, successful at the end. And I think Eurocities is also very useful as a way to, to lobby, let's say like that, European institutions and to put the cities at the forefront of the, of the political debate. And also now that we're talking about uh, next generation funds, recovery plans, we, we should, uh, we are, and we should continue stressing the importance of a significant portion of those funds uh, being directly assigned to cities as the place where those transformations can be more effective in the first line of the needs of the citizens and of the, of course, the broader Green Deal and climate neutrality objectives. You are two politicians today in front of an audience uh, composed of politicians as well in other European cities, but we also have other colleagues working in the mobility department or other departments at the city level. Um, you are highlighting the importance of engaging and networking in a, in a context like Eurocities or in a platform like this Eurocities Mobility Forum. What could you say to your audience? Uh, what do they need to tell to their local politicians to engage in the work of the Eurocities Mobility Forum? It's a difficult question, sorry, that I just came to my mind. It's a bonus question because you were talking about uh, exchanging with cities. Why do you feel, as a politician, why do you feel um, convinced that uh, international cooperation and sustainable mobility are important topics to keep in the agenda? Jean-Claude? You know, yes, maybe. Um, so be, uh, besides my activities as a politician, uh, as a deputy mayor of Toulouse, uh, I've been working uh, with Brussels for, uh, in the, for the last uh, 30 years uh, on, on space activities, you know, something totally different. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually seeing from inside, inside in, uh, in Brussels, uh, the voices that are heard uh, are those like coming from Eurocities, you know, uh, uh, association authorities representing the reality of uh, of what is faced every day on uh, you know uh, on the on the territories you know uh, and definitely you know with uh, all the, the hundred cities members of uh, of euro cities i think this voice is really meaningful is very influential so we need to coordinate we need to to listen to one another between amongst us fix the priorities and influence, you know, at each of our level, everywhere we can. Of course, we need to influence at local level. But you know, with your cities, we are we are we are influential actually. So city staff can tell the politician here. You have a lot speaker for your voice to be heard in in, in Brussels in the European institutions. Santiago has also mentioned in the importance of the importance of working with the European institutions. Santiago. Uh, um, how do you see um, the engagement of other European cities in the work that we, you, Toulouse and Madrid, you are already doing in the Eurocities Mobility Forum? How can they persuade them to engage with you? Well, I think this is uh, already happening, but we probably have to, to continue working and strengthen these, these collaborations and, and engagement. But I think that there are two, two reasons why uh, both politicians, but also the staff from, from the different departments of a city council are uh, to be uh, engaged in these in these uh, forums like this one. 
first and your cities in general first as uh, the vice mayor was saying is that we have the capacity to influence the european uh, politics, the European priorities, the European funding decisions, which are the funding priorities that we need to take on board to make our cities uh, sustainable in the way we were saying. And also the second angle, which is very important, is that um, we need sometimes to think out of, of, of our usual, out of the box, out of usual departments, out of our usual interactions. And we, I think the staff from Madrid City Council and many others, really are excited and get enriched and get with new energy and new ideas when they share with other colleagues from other departments in other city councils and in other places of Europe. So I think the, the, the need and the enrichment is, is in both ways. So in, in one way, we, we get with, with new proposals, with new uh, solutions to consider, even if they need to be adapted to a different context, a different city, but also to put our uh, uh, priorities and our agenda uh, on the top of the European policies and funding that is crucial for us to make this change and this transformation possible. Breaking the silos at local level and also at European level, right? Santiago, I'm going to um, um, free you up for the rest of the day. I guess you have many other things to do. Do you want to say some final words, some final comment that maybe I just missed and you would like to uh, to say? No, well, yes. Uh, thank you for giving me a final word, but uh, just to say that it has been a pleasure for Madrid to, to host, to support this mobility forum of our cities, even if, if virtually online, and hopefully next time we will be able to, to meet you physically and, and welcome you physically to our, to our city, to our open and international and lively city of Madrid. And I would like to thank all of you, our cities, uh, all the team, uh, uh, yourself, Juan, and the Secretary General, and Lisa Boni, and of course, uh, Mr. Tadelet, the Vice Mayor of Toulouse, and also Chair of the Mobility Forum, for the leadership and the work, and I'm sure we, we remain committed from Madrid to continue working with you all and, and strengthening all these all these important paths and all these important priorities for our cities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Santiago. We will be we will work together for sure. We'll continue working together. Thank you very much, Santiago. I'm going to stay with you, Jean Claude, for a few more seconds because uh, I would like to ask you if you have any plans for the next Eurocities Mobility Forum meeting. Yes, so thank you uh, again. Thank you to uh, Mr. San Diego Sora for his, uh, his words and uh, for you know hosting this uh, mobility forum. Unfortunately, it was uh, made digital. Uh, so Toulouse is candidate to host the, the, the 2022 mobility forum in Toulouse. So you know, I'd I like to introduce Toulouse, generally speaking, as the most Spanish, the, the French Spanish city with an Italian architecture. <laughs> Uh, so uh, coming to Toulouse, you will find uh, uh, so some very uh, very Spanish environment. And because I think you know it was very unfortunate that we could not uh, hold it uh, in life in uh, in Madrid, we will make sure to make uh, 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 um, to, you know to share a good place, a good uh, uh, influence from Madrid in the next uh, mobility forum. So. Uh, uh, most welcome in Toulouse if uh, if Toulouse is retained to hold this uh, next mobility forum. And just uh, incidentally, I just uh, had the, the, the approval of my mayor uh, also to join the, the Eurocities uh, Mayor Alliance for for the European Green Deal. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's also a good uh, a good sign uh, in view of the next mobility forum. So again, a warm thanks to everyone uh to, to who manage this uh this mobility forum uh, managed by madrid so thank you to the madrid team i think i know it has been quite a challenge thank you very much jean claude and glad to hear that you are willing to host us next time we we meet thank you very much uh, jean claude uh see you soon and now i just um can say a few words uh, to to you to the Eurocities Mobility Forum members. Thanks for following us, for engaging over the last three days. We know it's not always easy with so many events, so many digital events uh, happening at the same time. We are already one year and a half having these kind of meetings, and still your engagement is uh, really it's uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much to Madrid, uh, to the whole team in, in Madrid for virtually hosting this Eurocities Mobility Forum meeting 2021. Thank you very much to all the politicians, all the speakers involved. Special thanks to the organizing team here in Brussels and uh, in the Eurocities office that uh, but when working from home, we say Brussels, but it can be a bit wider, right? Uh, that, uh, that one specific uh, building. 
so thanks to Ariana leading the team. Thanks to everyone involved uh, in the in the different sessions. I hope you took some new pieces of information. You create some links with some other European colleagues in other European cities. We have talked a lot about electrification, about climate neutrality, climate mitigation, pedestrian areas. Um, there are automation. Uh, there are many hot topics in the fields of urban mobility. It's a never-ending discussion. And uh, I'm very glad to see that you were connected there on the other line uh, during these uh, three days. Without you, uh, we can we can uh, do our work. We can make our dream come true, uh, which is actually to make the quality uh, of life in cities uh, better, to move uh, greener and, and healthier. And that's our destination. Thank you very much for joining. Good lunch. See you soon and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank <laughs> you.